wins out of three for Spitalina in Singapore. Hello, Alina. Congratulations. <laughs> um, how much did you know in terms of the scenarios, the qualification scenarios, and what you needed to do today going into the match? And if you did know what you needed to do, how, how, how did that change how that match felt? Yeah, I, I knew that uh, I had to win one side. I mean, um, the, it was, um, there was lots of pressure. And uh, I think for her as well, you know, we are both we, was under pressure. So um, here, you know, this um, Robin, uh, round Robins is uh, no easy, um, no easy matches, no easy, you know, scenarios. So I had to fight for every ball. And I think today um, I was really pushed mentally to go through really, really tough moments because, you know, um, to play against Caroline, you always have to put one extra ball over the net, and um, you know she always chases every every ball, and um, you know that that's why um, for me it was like one of the toughest uh, probably battles mentally. Elena, can you walk us through those five set points and or just that last game in the second set, yeah. emotionally, mentally? How did you get through that? Um, of course, you know, I was 40-15 um, up, played some great points and then, you know, she 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 was playing unbelievable uh, on, the, on the set points. I, I think I did only one um, error, uh, which, um, which was really bad. I was disappointed, but um, the rest, you know, she was playing um, like a champion, you know, and I was expecting this because all the... Um, even, you know, last year, uh, there have been lots of that. I said to myself, you know, uh, let's get back on track because uh, you can rest at home, you know. So going into um, into the semifinals, are you going to... What does that mean to get to the semifinals and with that level of tennis? Is there an extra meaning for you because you, you struggle some uh, quite a bit and you're finding your, your way again? For me, going into this tournament was very important mentally to bounce back. And, um, you know, I had a really, really tough um, second part of the season. And, um, you know, I, I was actually I was actually surprised because I was very positive and I uh, was just keep fighting. You know, I stopped with my with my coach, with Thierry, and um, it was not easy. And uh, with all the things were going, uh, you know, in social media and, um, you know, with the opinions about my physique. It wasn't easy. So, um, you know, this really shows and I think I'm, you know, getting mentally tough and that's what I've been working on really hard. And uh, yeah, definitely, you know, Andy helps me a lot and, um, you know, it's something that uh, really appreciated. I'm not giving any uh, free points and uh, I just want to continue that way and I could handle it. Jens had some options. It seems though that you work really well with Andy uh, and he's been there for you for the last, you know, couple years. I'm just kind of curious if there've been discussions at all where where he would just kind of remain as your as your sole coach. Yeah, of course he he's going to he's going to stay and uh, he's a traveling coach and um for me the idea to have someone not in a full full time as well. So I'm going to definitely have uh, I think and uh, definitely try to to find someone with who can give opinion on my game because for me that's what I'm looking for and uh um, I always like, you know, to, to hear from, from someone experienced and, uh, you know, it's not like it's going to change everything, but, you know, the small things, small details make a big difference. And, you know, I have to learn, I like to learn something new from each person because every person has something different and different look on the, on the situation. So for me, it's, uh, you know, the, um, this, what matters and so much of the, is working on during tournaments. Well, I don't, during the tournament, I'm not spending so much time. You know, I have um, um, I have a, a team who is working on it, and because you know, with all the sponsorships and deals, and everything, you know, it's very tough for a tennis player to to control it. So I have a social media team who's taking care of it. But it was not um, it was not really about this, and not really reading so much of the you know of the comments and everything but you know it's very tough to escape because you in the end you're always gonna hear and also 
pe uh, people around you. You know, it's not only boss about the social media. It was just uh, the, I had you know like few opinions on uh, on the situation. Elena, uh, I don't know if you spoke about this before the tournament. I wasn't here, but the the trial with Nick, I guess, was very brief. Uh, I'm just wondering. Uh, was it the timing, or what were the reasons behind just not that you guys didn't continue? Yeah, it was. Um, it was not that I, you know, I didn't, I didn't like our work. It was just the trial, and um, for me, um, I heard uh, uh, what what he what he want, wanted me to to improve and everything. And just in that time, you know, um, probably was a little bit too much because um, was a bit struggling here and there. So, um, you know, it was just, um, yeah, maybe the wrong timing, but it's very tough to say now, you know. Um, it, it was tough because, you know, I'm working with Andy um, for a long time and we know, um, we know, you know, how we, uh, in which direction we have to move and what we have to improve. He knows me the best and uh, yeah. Um, so for me it was just, um, yeah, maybe timing, but it's tough to say in one world.